Alrighty, hello and welcome back. Final Fantasy IX on the PC. By the way, the uh, scene that's coming up, the the DDR scene, is I'm really bad at it on keyboard. I just want to point that out because I'm going to be awful at it. I am not going to be going at it until I get a hundred uh, nobles impressed. If you don't know what I'm talking about, don't worry, you'll see soon enough. But I'm not going to 100 nobles. You get some, you get something out of it. I frankly, I'm not all that fussed about it. So whatever. We're running out of time. So Vivi hates heights. Just so you're aware. Don't worry, it won't fall. As it then proceeds to fall. And he's not wrong. There's really no point in worrying, apart from the fact that we don't have a way back now. I almost forgot. What is your name? It is Vivi. We already know his name. Age appears to be nine. No one actually knows how old Vivi is. In fact, the developers don't know how old Vivi is. There you go. We will name. We will leave his name as Vivi. Hey, why you gotta? His name is Puck. Say my name is weird. Anyway, there's some. I, oh yeah, we gotta go down for that one, that's right. There's some loot around these houses that we can now get now that he's stopped bothering us constantly. I think it's uh, these little chimneys. 63 whole gil! My god, we're rich. And there's another path up here. Which contains an item of great value. 90, see I told you great value, 92 gil. That's a 50% increase over last time, basically. I know how to do math, leave me alone. I think that's the only stuff we can pick up. We finally made it. We have managed to infiltrate the castle of Alexandria. Yes, there are two moons. Now you can see her beautiful face in high resolution. And hers, but more importantly, Braun. Insert strange clapping sound effect, apparently. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight's performance is a story that takes place long, long ago. By the way, this story is, um, it's an interesting choice of story, to say the least, if given what occurs during this. When our story begins, Marcus, having heard of this, crosses swords with the king. And now, your royal majesty. Dramatic music. Marcus, thou hast lost even thy love. This is all auto, by the way, so don't complain to me if you can't read that fast. I have nothing to do with the speed at which this text goes. Thanks, I'll be honest, that text is actually a little too fast. We shall back thee, kinsman. Oh, 
mean, you already had your sword out. You didn't need to pull it out again. And the fight begins. You can make this fight dramatic if you want. Otherwise, you can just mash the attack button. I don't remember if there's anything to steal from this fight. I don't think there is. In fact, I don't think you can steal in this fight. Also, I'm on auto still. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, steel's been replaced with SFX. So you can make it fancy. We'll show them off just because we can. They don't do any damage, by the way. They are special effects, which is why they're called that. It's actually kind of cool that they're in. Zidane's apparently got an AoE one. But yeah, they don't do any damage. He does damage, but not much. Unless it hits Cena and then he kills him. Because it's Cena. But anyway, I just wanted to show off all of these uh, special effect attacks. I'll just put it on auto for the rest of this. Because all the rest of this fight is, is just mashing the uh, attack button until it ends. Eventually. That attack is so fancy. In fact, we'll actually just speed it up. Because this is the whole fight now. We've, I've shown you all the special effects. There are no others to show. We have done it. Ah, gah. Gah. That's how you pronounce that, by the way. Come back. Tis foolishness. If all was so easy, why none would suffer in this world? Some of this dialogue is auto and some of it isn't, and it's very strange. I mean, all of this dialogue is, but I meant the one earlier. There's like one dialogue box in the middle of it that's not auto. Anyway, here comes the part that I am absolutely terrible at. Um, this is... The, the DDR thing. You have to follow his commands, and the hard part is this freaking XCVB nonsense that's going off over here, unfortunately. I am not good at that part of it, so. Press V, C, right? B, B. It gets a little more complicated later and starts using the other uh, command buttons, unfortunately. That was C that I hit, so that's not very good. And that was V that I hit, so I've already messed up twice. God dang it. It's alright. We're not going for for max here anyway. I just, you know, I'm going to put some effort in, but I'm not perfecting it, unfortunately. As much as people might want me to. If you perfect it, they ask, they ask for an encore as well. And there's an achievement for that if you so desire. Actually, I don't think you need to perfect it. I think you just need to get really close. And that's it. That wasn't bad. I messed up twice because I'm scrub, unfortunately, but... 74 were impressed. Queen Braun was not impressed, unfortunately. I think you need 80 or 85 or 90 or something to impress her, but... Audience seemed to like it. Perform this fight scene again. Could say yes. But no, we will not. They shower us with gill. You get more gill based on how high you go, and I think you get an item at 100, but... Are we mistaken on the item? I don't know. Either way, I'm not doing it, so it doesn't matter to me. You can, you can try that as much as you want, by the way. But this helmet... It reeks! Oh wait, no, it kind of smells, sorry. He says reeks, okay. Armor's too big. Back's itchy. Boots are wet, gloves are slimy, and the cookie crumbs in his pocket. Anyway. Don't worry, I won't screw up as he lets it out early. Welcome to Alexandria Castle. Where our first step is to completely ignore what he says. Royal seat should be right above these stairs. Of course, the play is still going on. 
So in the real world, we would have a limited amount of time to do this. And he just says random garbage because they're sleeping. And apparently he's dreaming about the captain, which is strange, but he can do what he wants, I guess. I don't think there's anything in here. Nope. That's unfortunate. Anyway, excuse me. We can walk this way and get yelled at. And if we walk the other way, we get yelled at and the same exact thing happens. Be curious. I'm pretty sure this is what happens. Yeah. Look out, someone's coming. And the exact same scene plays, but thankfully we can fast forward it. See how useful that feature is? Anyway, if you run up here, it triggers what's actually supposed to happen. We meet an oddly dressed woman. Or girl, as it may be. Eh, we can let her pass or we can examine her face. We will examine her. Because it gives us a little bit of extra dialogue. You see, you were the one I'd been waiting for all these years. Do you mock me? Hmm. I'd never let someone as pretty as you get away. And she runs off, and then we inform our friend here that that was Princess Garnet. And the chase is on. But first we have to meet the clowns. Actually, the jesters, actually. By the way, that painting is like... It's still, it's still really creepy. Let's look at that painting. Anyway, Zorn and Thorn. They like to talk at the same time in very slightly different ways. One of them is basically Yoda, the other one talks normally. I know it is not the right way. Really do you? I really do. These freaking gestures. That is not the right way. Not the right way I know. must continue. They always have to do everything twice because there's two of them. As they are wont to be. Your Majesty! Princess Garnet is in danger! Well, of all the what could she be thinking? And Captain, uh, Tin Can, no, his name's Steiner. I could name them Tin Can, but again, stick with normal names. Go find Garnet. I'll tell you who's successful in finding Garnet. Probably the dude we got to name, by the way. Spoilers and such. Where is everybody? Hello. This is a this is a great squad of soldiers he commands here. I don't know what to call his his group, but anyway, if we go this way, I think this is yeah back out to here, which we can do nothing with because there's nothing here, but it is there. I don't understand how that's connected to this castle, but if we go the other way, we can actually progress the storyline. And I don't remember if there's any items in any of these areas, but you can like talk to the chef and stuff. Oh, many fine dishes. 
I don't think there's any items. Um, there's just a bunch of... There's also this dude, by the way. Hello. This is the head chef. Remember him. He might be important. We must hurry! Love how they're all just like specific meisters. Egg meister, oven meister, onion meister. Dish meister is handling the dishes as the oven meister again. Is there any. We can't do anything except talk to them. Anyway, that head chef person is. I won't call them important, but they're a, they're a thing that transpires. I hate navigating some of these rooms, these camera angles. very difficult to see. And unfortunately we can't change the camera because these are um, locked camera positions in these rooms and stuff. We can only change it on the world map. We go 9 to 9. Even though there were two er I would like to point out there were two earlier. He said this isn't all of you, where are the other six? So I'm curious how we got to 9. By the way, I actually know how we got to nine. I just want to point that out to people. Well, you climb that ladder. If you know how we got to nine, then you too are paying attention to the game. Congratulations. You have to actually go down, by the way. I think there's some more rooms we can wander into that continue not having anything, but I'm just going to wander around and talk to people. What is it now? She hasn't visited today. She asked for the script to I want to be your canary. Most curious. I just wanted to write fantasy novels. You can leave or you can't leave. Well, you can leave. Now's not the time, unfortunately. And then they run off crying. As they are wont to do. By the way, I should point out this game doesn't have any analog control, any proper analog control. It just has uh, eight directional movement. Registry ordered some text about Eidolons. We've got a lot of books. I see that. And unfortunately, we can't use half of this room, but apparently there is something here. Ice Cavern Alexandria, a natural cavern over overrun with everlasting ice. And apparently that's all it's going to tell us. I don't know why it tells you so little about that, but, you know, it's a thing that will be transpiring. We run out here. I think this way it should trigger. There it goes. Play seems to be a hit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't recall anything over here. Yeah, we can't go this way. Just, you know... Night of Pluto, nobody has come this way. Hmm. What do you say? Can I have a seat, Captain? This calls for immediate action. And he runs off in that direction. And then he runs back into the castle, apparently. I didn't notice that part. Hmm. Oops, I skipped through that, sorry. He's flirting with the, the female guard. So Beatrix runs um, all female guard, I guess. It runs an all female guard, and Steiner runs an all male guard. Beatrix is in charge of, I believe, just the general safety of like the castle and stuff, or just the town in general, I'm not entirely sure. I can't remember. And then Steiner's just in charge of the idiots, basically. More or less is what's going off. Hello. I'm so tired. Excuse me. How, you, how old are you that you get shorter breath? I've only found seven Knights of Pluto.
Do I actually get something for giving orders to all of them? I don't remember. Let's actually go do that, because if we go to the top of this tower, it ends the thing. The winner of last year's cannonball race. Who can do it, Captain? Let's go see if we can find someone we're missing. So we got the person in the tower. Person by the water, the person by the other tower. The library. Person outside of this tower. Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that's all seven. Is there even an eighth one I can talk to? I've already talked to the one over there, we've already been over there. Been left and right up here, right? I think we have. These are just the Alexandrian email guard. Let's make it this way. Just these two idiots over here. At once, uh... It's also a Moogle here, if you feel like saving. Mosh, we should probably talk to Mosh. You have a letter from Kupo to Monty. And Mosh does not have a letter for us to deliver, so... And we don't need to talk to him. That's outside, we've already been out there. Anything going on upstairs? Is there a guard out here being an idiot? Oh, it's just the queen. Hello! Take this! Ah, we got an elixir for talking to you. That's actually nice, thank you. I mean, you're like... a terrible person, but thank you anyway. Appreciate it. I'm pretty sure we've been everywhere. We haven't talked to this person, so maybe this is who I'm missing here. Of course, I don't think they actually go into this room. They just spawn there and then run out of it, so... Just wait here for a second. Will you trigger? No. Freaking... I saw you run out. You cheater. Oi. Oi! Can I even catch them? Why don't they run back that way? I don't... I'm not sure how you managed to get... there, but whatever. I can't catch you! You filthy cheater! Unless it's this one. Unless that's you. Whatever, Captain. Okay, whatever. Let's just move on. You filthy cheater. Oh no, we got you. Hey, we did it! Yes sir, I'm looking sir. Alright, well. Let's fast forward a bit so we can run back out here real quick. Apologies for the black screens. If <laughs> that's... I'm having some issues on you, I don't know. Hello! All knights will obey. Is there an extra one? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and we got the elixir. Hey, we did it. All right, stop fast forwarding. If you're fast forwarding when you go into a cutscene, it will fast forward the cutscene and you cannot stop fast forwarding, so just bear that in mind. Hey, look, it's the princess. She does this sweet little twirl. If you pay attention to her on the left side of coming around that corner, she she, she and uh, the main character do a little twirl going around that corner, and I have no idea why. But it's great. Anyway. Fear not, princess. Your night is coming. Notice she's smiling, by the way. That's an important part of this.
So Steiner's dead, thankfully. We didn't need him. Where'd the princess go? Oh, there she is. Hello. It's a little curtsy. And then knocks everybody else down. Anyway. We can interact with them. Do you have a request? I do. Play some polka. I don't think there's anything back here. Surprised it even lets you run that far around, but it does apparently, so whatever. What in tarnation? If you can't tell, Ruby's southern. What kind of cattle are you chasing, darling? She's like heavily southern. Specifically, probably Texan. But anyway. This cowgirl's wilder than a bucking bronco. Just how I like him. Wait, what? Did you hear what I was saying? We'll talk later, Ruby. We can't go into that room yet. That's used for later. And unfortunately, I don't think there's a Moogle for a while. I think I'm probably just going to split this one. Right about here, actually. For dramatic cliffhanger effects and stuff. It's a, actually a great place to, to pause it. It's not actually a great place at all. But anyway, I'm going to split the recording here. Thanks for watching. See you next time.